वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू बी एस सी सेकेंड ईयर ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट फिशरी साइंस वी हैव स्टार्टेड ऑनलाइन क्लास लेक्चर सीरीज इन दिस ऑनलाइन क्लास लेक्चर सीरीज वी हैव सीन the paper 6 fish disease management in which the first point which is to be we have completed last period last lecture then next point of our study which is general etiology of fish diseases general etiology general sources of fish diseases five fish diseases these are to be occur Why these pathogens, parasites, these are to be affected on fishes? Which are the causative reasons, or the, which are the reasons behind to cause the fish disease? That pathogens, that parasite may be fungal parasite, that parasite may be bacterial parasite, or that parasite may be any one parasite, as protozoan, crustacean, or helminth. due to this parasite how fishes these are to be affect and how these are to be caused which is to be have studied in this article in this general etiology of fish diseases general etiology of fish diseases in last periods in last point we have studied we have seen in last we have seen we have studied that is main causes of diseases in fish form main causes of fish diseases in fish form or it is to be called as the general etiology of fish diseases why fishes these are to be caused why fishes these are to be affected by general pathogens by general parasite whether they are caused directly due to the problems of water whether these are to be caused due to the stress affected due to population stress affected due to change in water quality stress these are to be occur due to the fish population which is to be increase in a short period in a short time in this general etiology two to four point which is to be your study last period that is in proper feeding when proper feeding these are to be not study proper food these are to be not used nutritional diseases these are to be occur in fishes because due to the insufficient in proper food and feeding traces due to occur due to the toxic condition extreme condition stresses these are to be occur due to the roughness of handling or overcrowding or behavioral unstable water temperature as well as the food particles as well as food con- last periods then next general factors for the etiological causes of fish the five fish diseases these are to be occur why fishes these are to be affected why fishes these are to be caused by pathogens parasite in which the first fungal toxins in stored food why fish these are to be caused why fish these are to be affected by parasite or disease in this the first point that is fungal toxins in stored food number of fungal toxins number of fungus which is to be stored those are food which is to be provided those are food which is to be supplied to fishes in these food material in these supplementary food that may be cow dung that may be rice bran that may be wheat bran that may be moho oil cake that may be groundnut oil cake any supplementary food which is to be provided supplied to the culture fishes of the culture tank in these stored food some fungal toxins which is to be present these are toxins these are to be caused the fish pathogens fish diseases in these first pesticide residues those are residues those are pesticide which is to be can spray pesticide we can use to control the pest on the crops 
इन दीज पेस्टिसाइड सम पेस्टिसाइड दे कैन बी एब्सॉर्ड बाय ग्रेन्स दे कैन बी स्टोर्ड बाय इन द फूड्स एंड दीज पेस्टिसाइड वेन वी हैव दीज फूड्स सप्लाइड प्रोवाइड टू द फिश अल्टीमेटली दे कैन सप्लाई टू द फिश स्पेसिस दैट्स वाई पेस्टिसाइड रेसिड्यूज विच इज टू प्रेजेंट इन द फूड स्टब्स दे कैन बी सप्लाई टू द फिश पॉपुलेशन दिस इज द फर्स्ट फंगल टॉक्सिन सोर्स सेकेंड पोल्यूशन ऑफ द वॉटर बाय एग्रीकल्चर और इंडस्ट्रियल केमिकल्स पोल्यूशन ऑफ वॉटर बाय एग्रीकल्चरल और इंडस्ट्रियल केमिकल्स अगेन इट इज इंटरेस्टिंग एंड सीरियस मैटर इंटरेस्टिंग एंड सीरियस मैटर बिकॉज पोल्यूशन फेयर पोल्यूशन दीज आर टू बी नॉट ऑकर पोल्यूशन दीज आर टू बी कॉज इन वॉटर पोल्यूशन दीज आर टू बी फाउंड इन वॉटर ड्यू टू एग्रीकल्चरल वेस्ट पोल्यूशन दीज आर टू बी ऑकर ड्यू टू इंडस्ट्रियल वेस्ट एंड इन इंडिया स्पेशली बोथ दीज टू फैक्टर दैट इज एग्रीकल्चरल सेक्टर एंड इंडस्ट्रियल केमिकल्स और इंडस्ट्रियल सेक्टर दे कॉज द वॉटर पोल्यूशन सीवियरली दे कॉज द वॉटर पोल्यूशन एंड ड्यू टू दीज एग्रीकल्चरल सेक्टर एंड इंडस्ट्रियल सेक्टर आवर वॉटर सोर्सेज दीज आर टू बी बैडली पोल्यूटेड दे कैन बैडली अफेक्टेड नॉट ओनली एग्रीकल्चरल और इंडस्ट्रियल केमिकल्स सीवेज इफ्लुएंस अगेन इट इज ए थ्रेटनिंग कंडीशन फॉर ह्यूम इन फ्रंट ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी सीवेज इफ्लुएंस टूडे फेर वी कैन डिपॉजिट द सीवेज फेर वी कैन डंप द सीवेज देर इज ए प्रॉब्लम इन मेट्रोपॉलिटन सिटीज एज वेल एज द स्मॉल विलेजेस ऑल्सो एंड इन मेट्रोपॉलिटन सिटीज इन फ्रंट ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी टू ट्रीट द सीवेज फेर द डिंग ऑफ वेस्ट मटेरियल फेर द डिंग ऑफ सीवेज कैन बी डन बिकॉज डे बाय डे एवरी डे थाउजेंड्स आर मिलियन्स ऑफ टन सीवेज गार्बेज प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम द सिटी मेट्रोपॉलिटन टाउन्स दीज गार्बेज दीज सीवेज इफ्लुएंस दे कैन स्टोवर्ड दे कैन अल्टीमेटली डायरेक्टली रिलीज इन टू द वॉटर साइड डायरेक्टली रिलीज इन टू द पॉन्ड्स लेक रिवर्स रिजर्वायर्स सीज एंड ओशन एंड ड्यू टू विच वॉटर बिकम्स बैडली पोल्यूटेड फेन सच पोल्यूटेड वॉटर कैन बी कंज्यूम बाय द फिश कंज्यूम बाय द एक्वेटिक एनिमल अल्टीमेटली नंबर ऑफ फंगा नंबर ऑफ फंगल पैरासाइड विच इज टू बी प्रेजेंट इन दीज सीवेज इन दीज गार्बेज दे कैन अफेक्ट दे कैन अटैक ऑन द फिश और द एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स अदर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉक्सिन स्टोर्ड इन द फूड्स दैट इज द हेवी सिल्ट लोड्स ड्यू टू द हेवी सिल्ट टार डस्ट सूट डस्ट सिल्ट डस्ट दैट इज वेस्ट पार्टिकल्स फॉलन पार्टिकल्स ऑफ सॉइल स्टोन्स ऑल दे कैन हेवी सिल्ट लोड्स विच इज टू बी ऑकर ड्यू टू विच फिश बिकम्स डिसीज ड्यू टू विच फिश बिकम पैरासाइट Other important fungal toxins attacked by disease organisms. Attacked by disease organism, fish are attacked by successful disease organisms either externally on the skin, gills or fins. Externally, these organisms, externally these fungal parasite, fungal pathogens, they can affect, they can attack on the skin, they can attack on the gills, as well as they can attack on the fins. that's why fish or aquatic animals can be infected and it can be diseased or internally in the blood internally in the blood digestive tract nervous system etc in blood digestive system nervous system they can be incorporated affected due to the food which is to be consumed by the fishes with this food some toxin these are to be enter in the body and these toxin these are to be affect on blood these toxin these are to be affect on digestive tract these toxin these are to be affecting our nervous system and for this affect for this effect fish become abnormal behavior fish become change their normal behavior and it can be affected it can be infected attack by disease organism for example bacteria virus fungi and parasite these bacteria virus fungi and parasite with these blood digestive tract nervous system or the other parts affected and fish becomes infected fish becomes affect due to this this is the fungal toxins which is to be stored in fish food 
and fishes become infected fishes become affect due to the parasites next point of this general etiology of fish diseases that is types of fish diseases how many types of fish diseases these are to be occur types of fish diseases there are two broad categories of fish diseases or diseases that affect fish that is infectious parasites and that is the non infectious or the infectious diseases and non infectious diseases means types of fish diseases these are to be broadly categorized broadly these are to be divided into two categories broadly these are to be separated broadly these are to be studied into two parts that is one is the infectious fish diseases and second is the non infectious fish diseases infectious fish diseases and non infectious fish diseases first infectious fish diseases infectious fish diseases these are caused by pathogenic organisms present in the environment or carried by the other fish when organisms or animals these are to be infected when animals or organism these are to be affected attacked by pathogenic organisms by pathogenic organisms that organism these are to be passed from one animal to another animal that organism these are to be passed from one environmental medium to the another environmental medium or from one place to another place means due to these infectious diseases these infectious diseases these are of two types one is the these are to be caused by pathogenic organism present in environment or they can carry by the other fishes or the other animals with these either environmental factor or either the organisms or animal these pathogens these parasites these are to be affect infected to one animal to another animal that is the infectious diseases like that of the corona in today everywhere around the world whole world is to be threatened and it is to be a serious problem in front of humanity how this corona these are to be increased day by day due to the it is the infectious it is to be infect from one human being to the another human being such condition when these are to be occur it is the organism which is to be responsible for fish pathology or second is the from environment to environment when this parasite diseases these are to be spread by environment by a surrounding organ that is surrounding medium then it is to be called as the environmental that is infectious parasite they are categorized they are contagious diseases and some time of some type of treatment may be necessary these diseases these contagious diseases and some type of treatment may be necessary to control the disease outbreak to control these diseases some type of treatment these are to be important some type of treatment these are to be essential to disconnect to decrease or to due the break of these diseases in contrast non infectious diseases in contrast opposite to these infectious diseases non infectious diseases are caused by environmental problems non infectious diseases these are to be caused by the environmental problems nutritional deficiencies or genetic anomalies why these non infectious diseases these are to be occur it is to be occur due to environmental problem any environmental problem these are to be occur cloudy condition these are to be occur heavy temperature these are to be occur humid condition these are to be occur hot condition these are to be occur then problem these are to be start heavy humid condition these are to be occur no sunset these are to be or the sunrise these are to be not occur for long time cloud these are to be covered by a bad weather condition then pathogen these are to be affected that is the environmental problems nutritional deficiency due to the deficiency of vitamin due to the deficiency of healthy food due to the deficiency of the proper protein carbohydrate lipids or the that is proteins carbohydrate lipids or the vitamins these animals these are to be show the abnormal or abnormal deficiency Genetic anomalies. Genetic anomalies. 
when in genetic condition when organism these are to be developed mutation these are to be occur in gene and abnormally organism these are to be formed developed that is called a genetic anomalies such condition pre non infectious pathogens non infectious disease these are to be occur these are to be seen they are not contagious and usually cannot be cured by medications that is genetic anomalies these genetic anomalies these are to be not contagious these are to be not controlled these are to be not minimized they cannot be usually cured with the help of medicine with the help of the medicine because these diseases these non infectious infection these are to be forever for the animals life for the organisms life such different factor these are to be caused such different factor these are to be affect in the fish diseases infectious diseases infectious diseases are broadly categorized as parasitic bacterial viral or fungal diseases infectious diseases these infectious diseases when disease these are to be occur by a pathogens by a parasite from one animal to another animal these parasite pathogens these are the number of factors number of vector parasites such as fungal parasite such as bacterial parasite such as viral parasite these parasite these are to be infectious disease these are to be called the first parasitic diseases diseases of fishes are most frequently caused by small microscopic organisms called protozoa which live in the aquatic environment and when fishes aquatic animal these are to be affect diseased with this parasite it is called as a parasitic disease parasitic diseases of fish are most frequently caused by small microscopic organisms called as protozoa which live in the aquatic environment and there are a variety of protozoans which infest the gills and skin of fish causing irritation then causing weight loss and causing eventually death when these parasite protozoan these are to be attacked protozoan these are to be affect on the animal similar to that of the malaria similar to that of the dengue which is to be occur in human being because it is the that is which animal protozoan animal paramecium then protozoan animal that is the different anopheles mosquito these different animal these mosquito these are to be affected by the these number of pathogens number of parasite protozoan parasite and infect on human being similarly these protozoan variety of protozoan which infect the gills variety of protozoan these are to be attack on the skin variety of protozoan these are to be attack on the skin gills or the tail fin and they can cause which causing problem these are to be occur due to these protozoans irritation continuous irritation which is to be occur in fish weight loss due to these parasite fish weight loss these are to be occur due to this parasite fish becomes die means due to the irritation due to the weight loss fish becomes eventually die this is the condition which is to be occur to the parasitic disease most protozoan infectious are relatively easy to control using standard fishery chemicals most of the protozoan infections are relatively easy to control using standard fishery chemicals such as copper sulfate such as formalin potassium permanganate all these number of chemicals copper sulfate formalin potassium permanganate then blue dye or chrome dye varieties of these such chemical when these are to be used we can minimize we can lower the these protozoan parasite protozoan diseases information on specific diseases and proper use of fishery chemicals is available from your aquaculture extension specialist what is the important point information on specific diseases and proper use of fishery chemicals information which is to be essential information of chemical these are to be what is the proportion how much proportion of these chemical these are to be mix mix how much proportion these are to be killed the parasite how much proportion these are to be killed the fish it is to be essential to know the specialist those are the aquaculture extension specialist those are the aquaculture specialist to these specialist 
such information these are to be done and with this information we can minimize we can lower the risk of parasitic disease second bacterial diseases those fishes these are to be affected those fishes these are to be infected due to the parasite as a bacteria these are called as bacterial diseases and these bacterial diseases these are to be again infectious these are to be caused the fish disease into the fishes bacterial diseases are often internal infections and require treatment with medicated feeds containing antibiotics which are approved for use in fish by the food and drug administration bacterial diseases these are to be controlled these are to be minimum these are to be minimized when when we are often internal infection these are to be seen internal part we have seen in <coughs> bacterial diseases which are the bacterial diseases that is dropsy which are the bacterial diseases that is the fin rot these fin rot dropsy when these are to be caused these are to be occur in fishes to in, in internal infections require treatment for that purpose antibiotic these are to be used but these antibiotic these are to be approved for food and drug administration committee or the food and drug administration when these are to be approved it is the suitable it is the liable antibiotic to use fish only such antibiotic these are to be used to minimize the bacterial disease typically fish infected with a bacterial disease will have hemorrhagic spots or ulcers along the body wall and around the eyes and mouth due to bacterial infections due to bacterial attack which diseases these are to be occur typically the fish infected with a bacterial disease will have hemorrhagic spot hemorrhagic spot bloody spot these are to be occur ulcer these are to be occur along the body wall specially fair ulcer these are to be occur fair ulcer these are to be found around the eyes and around the mouth such condition these are to be seen they may also have an enlarged fluid filled abdomen they also have an enlarged fluid filled abdomen and protruding eyes eyes are to be come outside the eye socket protruding eyes these are to be occur bacterial diseases can also be external can also be internal not only internal that is ectoparasite as well that is endoparasite these bacteria these are to be attack these are to be affect resulting in erosion of skin and ulceration due to these bacteria that is resulting in erosion of skin and ulceration that is columnaris is an example of an external bacterial infection which may be caused by rough handling columnaris is an example of an external bacterial infection which may be caused by the rough handling of the fish means such bacterial diseases these are to be caused these are to be cured with proper antibiotic which is to be used proper antibiotic which is to be utilized then these diseases can be controlled it can be cured next viral diseases again we have face number of problems today due to viral and that's why these viral pathogens viral parasite these are also affect these are also affected on the fish or the aquatic fauna viral diseases are impossible to dis- diagnose or distinguish viral diseases are impossible to distinguish from bacterial diseases without special laboratory test we do not recognize we do not diagnose whether the fish is to be affected by bacteria or whether the fish is to be affected by virus because for that purpose special laboratory test they can take special laboratory test they can for and special laboratories these are to be developed for that purpose they are difficult to diagnose and there are no specific medi- medications there is difficult to diagnose and there are no specific medications available to cure viral infections of the fish for to cure viral infection there is no specific medications available to cure viral infection of fish the most important viral infection which affect fish production in the southeastern united states in channel catfish virus disease caused by a hipparis virus then consultation with an aquaculture or fish health specialist is recommended if you suspect 
a bacterial or viral disease killing by herpes what is the important the most important viral infection which affect fish production which affect fish population in the southeastern united states in america due to that is channel catfish this channel catfish virus disease which is to be caused which is to be occur and this caused by a hip, that is hipparas virus these hipparas virus these are to be affect these are to be caused in united states and complete fish production these are to be lost complete fish production these are to be occur and that's why constellation that is constellation with an aquaculture or fish health specialist is recommended if you suspect a bacterial or viral disease like killing your fish when any bacteria any virus which can attack your crop culture aquaculture pond aquaculture tank at that time we can visit we can call specialist those fish health specialist which have knowledge about viral which have knowledge about bacteria which have knowledge about the fish and their life only such expert they can save your crop they can earn your or they can generally save your that is culture take then fungal diseases fungal diseases are the fourth type of infectious diseases fungal spores are common in aquatic environment but do not usually cause disease in healthy fish fungal diseases are the fourth type of infectious diseases fungal spores are common in aquatic environment but do not usually cause disease in healthy fish generally fungal generally fungi these are to be do not cause even in human being also those human being these are to be susceptible weak only in these animals organism fungi they can grow fungi they can spread more in concentration large in scale but when animal these are to be strong healthy they do not grow they do not increase on the animals and that's why if these do not usually cause disease in healthy fish when fish are infected with an external parasite bacterial infection or injured by handling when fungi these are to be increased when fungi these are to be increased when fungi these are to be grow when the animals can be attacked when the animals can be infected fish can be infected by external parasite that may be protozoan parasite that may be helmin parasite or that may be bacterial infection or injured by handling due to the handling fish can injured the fungi can colonize damage the tissue on the exterior of the fish those part those area those are to be damaged in that area in that part fungi they can grow they can colonize and they can increase their area these areas appear to have a cottony growth or may appear as a brown matted areas when the fish are removed from the water when such condition these are to be occur these areas appear a appear to have a cottony growth or may appear to brown matted areas when the fish are removed from the water formalin or potassium permanganate are effective formalin or potassium permanganate are effective against most fungal infections since fungi are usually a secondary problem it is important to diagnose the original problem and correct it as well that is formalin and potassium permanganate are effective to control to minimize the fungal diseases but fungal diseases fungal infections since fungi are usually a secondary problem not primary problem why it is to be not primary problem because when fish these are to be weak susceptible lethargic not moving not swimming properly then and then fungi are it is to be damaged due to any dash any handling condition any enemies these are to be attack and damaging these are to be occur on body of the fish at that place only fungi these are to be grow and then they can multiply rapidly means when animal becomes susceptible weak lethargic or it is to be not healthy in condition at that time fungi these are to be grow that's why it is the secondary problem for the fish but for that purpose important to diagnose to original problem and correct it as a well condition as a good condition that's why these fungal diseases these are also controlled these are also minimized with these four 
infectious diseases these are to be occur first is the parasitic first is the parasitic diseases these are to be occur parasite these are to be cause parasite these are to be affect second these are to be cause these are the viral infection these are to be cause third bacterial infection these are to be cause and fourth is the fungal infection these are to be cause these are to be occur all these are the infectious fish diseases these parasite these pathogen these are to be cause and affect the fish population and in decrease the fish growth it can affect on the fish culture is or the fish farmers second criteria or the second type of fish diseases that is non infectious fish diseases again on this non infectious fish diseases in unit number 4 we can detail study how non infectious diseases these are to be harmful which are the problems and how these are to be controlled here we have seen non infectious diseases can be broadly categorized non infectious diseases can be broadly divided as categorized as environmental nutritional or genetic which are these are to be these non infectious diseases these are to be broadly divided broadly categorized into environmental non infectious diseases nutritional non infectious diseases and genetic non infectional infectious diseases environmental when fishes these are to be affect fishes these are to be infected due to the environmental condition environmental infections when fishes these are to be infected affect due to the nutritional activity food and feeding activity then it is called as nutritional infections and when fishes they can affect fishes they can attack by the genetic mutation genetic abnormalities then it is to be called as the genetic non infectious diseases see this is the fish which is to be affected by a gas bubble and due to this non infectious disease that is the gas bubble when gas these are to produce inside the body fish skin these are to be fully swell up turgid and show the a abnormal condition fish cannot swim eat healthy and it is to be ultimately died these are to be dead with this non infectious either that may be environmental problem either that may be that is the due to the environmental problem due to the nutritional problem any nutrition that may be either mineral these are to be deficiency or other vitamin deficiency protein deficiency carbohydrate deficiency or the lipid deficiency these are to be caused these are to be effect or simply simply it is the minerals or sometimes that is abnormalities these are to be occur by anomalies that is genetic abnormalities due to mutation these are to be occur at the time of development mutation these are to be occur at the time of formation of the embryos in embryogenesis one part any one organ these are to be occur for one organ these are to be excessive growth such genetic abnormalities these are to be not controlled these are to be not cured with this general etiology of fish diseases we have completed we have seen then in next speed we have seen next point for this unit first fish disease management thank you